Okay, today is October the 22nd, 2015, and uh, today we're watching uh, Hurricane Patricia. In the last 24 hours, uh, the storm has uh, developed from a 65 mile per hour uh, tropical storm to a Category 5 hurricane uh, with 160 mile per hour winds. And uh, although there is a, a blast pattern feature right around the edge here, uh, this storm is forecast, and I just was watching the news here, KCAL 9 in Los Angeles, they're forecasting that this storm is going to move right over Puerto Vallarta, right around in this area. They're going to let it, uh, the people running these transmitters are not going to apparently kill this thing off. They're going to let it run ashore and kill a few people. So that's uh, quite interesting, and uh, we're wondering why that would be allowed to happen when uh, Hawaii over here has is, is enjoyed such great protection all season long. We've seen these hurricanes uh, be destroyed as they move close uh, by to Hawaii. They've been steered around Hawaii and so forth and so on. You've got all of my videos uh, on YouTube here. You can go back uh, to any date going back to uh, June 22nd to see uh, what they've been doing. And I have uh, the, the hurricanes before that also that have not yet been posted. And those will be posted uh, as well to show uh, the first two or three hurricanes of the season. But uh, this one here is forecast to run curve back and uh, hit Puerto Vallarta right in here. So uh, I'd like to know why that's going to be allowed to, to uh, happen when we have the technology to kill this thing off, to throttle it back like we're doing over here. This storm here, this is uh, Olaf, I believe. Let's go look at the uh, Hurricane Center map right now. Here is uh, Patricia, 160 mile per hour winds. A core pressure of 924 millibar and a moving uh, north northwest at 10 miles per hour. So, this thing is uh, really uh, moved right back against the, uh, the mainland, sent a button hook turn. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, yeah, right here. So, this is going to go right back towards the mainland, <clears throat> and apparently, nothing's going to be done about that. Okay, so everybody watching, you know, the uh, you've seen these videos, you, you've seen what can be done. You've seen the capabilities of the people that are controlling these transmitters. Uh, we know what they can do, and we know what they've been doing. Uh, with uh, right here, we've got uh, Olaf, I believe that is right there. Olaf, let's go back to the map one more time. Uh, <clears throat> whoops, Central Pacific, Olaf, 110 mile per hour wind. So this thing has been. Uh, throttled back 25% in the last two days as it approaches Hawaii. So they've been, uh, uh, you know, favoring Hawaii uh, by uh, minimizing this storm's potential out there. All right. Now that storm is still moving. Uh, it's moving due north at nine, uh, nine miles per hour. Okay. And uh, let's go take a look here again. Olaf, right down here, is moving due north. So it's moving right up this way. All right. Uh, so the question is, is again, why would this storm be allowed to move on shore and kill, you know, thousands of people? That's a Category 5 storm. <clears throat> okay, here is the, uh, <clears throat> the infrared map, rainbow map. And uh, that whole storm is red, basically. That's a lot of red. This looks like Linda. And of course, Linda was a Category 5 for about one day, and then they killed it off as it moved up towards California. But this one here is forecast to just do a big U-turn and go right back in towards uh, Puerto Vallarta right here. So again, I, I ask, uh, why would that be allowed to happen? Okay, we've got technology to stop that. Uh, why would that be allowed to happen? Okay, let's look at the... Uh, this is the visible loop right here, and uh, this is Patricia. We can see the core right there, but there is some fluorescent overlay on three different sections of this core, and that will hide uh, any sort of uh, microwave dimples that we see uh, targeted on the storm. So they, they are hiding some detail once in a while, and tonight is one of those nights. So we're seeing uh, some uh, striped overlay. It's not hiding a whole lot because there's not a whole lot to hide. They are just letting this storm uh, run full throttle. So 
Uh, by tomorrow, I would expect this to be, if, if there's any sanity in the world, uh, I would expect this storm to be down around 100 to, uh, you know, 80 mile, 80 to 100 mile per hour winds. Uh, because in one day it went from 65 miles per hour up to uh, 160. So again, if there's any sanity in the world and the people that are running these transmitters have any any kind of uh, humane uh, qualities, they will uh, dial this thing back overnight. All right, uh, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, this is the Western U.S. water vapor loop. And we can see a, this is a developing storm right here. There's a, a transmitter. They're putting heat on this core right here. All right. And at the same time, we've got heat from a transmitter right here suddenly opening up right over California. And that is going to uh, provide a, uh, a blockade. We've seen this before. These mysteriously just pop out of nowhere. And they provide a shield. And uh, that will keep a lot of this uh, moisture right out of California. So that will uh, maintain the California drought. And also the other feature about this map is this thing right here. This huge low pressure that was sitting over California and Arizona for about five days is sitting there with a transmitter on it. Uh, had a transmitter on it for five days right down here. Sat there spinning. And then when it moves away, we see what happens. They allow it to rebuild and generate all sorts of rain that's moving through Texas and Nebraska and all through these uh, uh, states in the middle of the country but here we go folks right here this is why california has a drought right here so they are putting a transmitter here to protect california and uh, meanwhile uh, hurricane patricia is about less than 24 hours away from uh, ruining about you know 10,000 people's lives living uh, along the coast down there maybe more i don't even know what the population of puerto vallarta is but in that area down there, but uh, that is uh, the plan. So they're going to apparently let that thing hit hit the coastline. Now notice the uh, the moisture in this system as it's moved away from California. It's redeveloped. And we've got a huge area of thunderstorms and rain right here. And now when that system was back over here, you can go back on my videos about three days ago or four days ago when this thing was spinning, and uh, it just sat there and spun. It was a dry upper low, and it just sat there and spun spun and was spinning for for days and then finally uh, it moved away and uh, this is what we see right here so uh, again uh, this is weather manipulation uh, california's not getting a whole lot of rain and uh <clears throat> you, you're seeing it here folks this is what they do we've got a we've got heat here and all through here and the uh, the high that they were trying to build out over the great basin never quite materialized we can go look at the uh, uh Here's the jet stream. We've got jet stream flow right into California. And this is where they're building in that high to block all that moisture, that developing storm right here. Coming right into California, they're going to block that. Let's look at the... Uh, I better turn the, the camera so we can see all this. Let's try it again. So here's the jet stream. Comes up and around. and moves right into California. All the arrows, everything is favorable for rain uh, in California. and. Uh, once again, we're getting gypped. Here it is. Uh, that's a developing storm right there. All right, so we go to the jet stream and we see what's happening. All the, all the uh, conditions are favorable. We got arrows moving right into California. Let's look at the uh, sea level pressure map. And we see that the, uh, the high that they were trying to build in is really not materialized at all. Instead, there's a low indicated here where that... Uh, that low that was moving over California came down and around and back up, and that's delivering all that rain in the uh, midsection of the country. All right. And then here we got a high that's suddenly building in. Actually, that high is right down here off of California. And this, this developing storm here is uh, going to be blocked by that. Okay, here is the 500 millibar. We see that low that's moved out to the uh, northeast. We got a high right here. Okay, that's going to block all this. This this high extends all over the place out there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, here's the the dip, the trough right there. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, next map. This is the 300 millibar, and we see that low right here. And 
find a strange feature here. Okay, let's move on to, uh, now this is Hawaii. This is Hurricane Olaf as it moves due north. There's a very strong uh, easterly flow here, but we have also got a moisture field moving down south uh, towards uh, Hawaii. And we, it looks like we've got uh, some activity out here. Uh, it looks like a blast pattern is occurring right here. But at any rate, uh, Hawaii is right near this moisture field. We'll have to see what happens with this uh, this field of moisture, what they do with that. That could be a problem. Uh, we've got a dark area right here. It looks like they're trying to apply some heat right, right through here. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and move over to the... Uh, this is the uh, infrared loop of Hawaii. And uh, let's go back to the big map right now and take a look at this. Yeah, this is a whole new moisture field running up, coming right out of the, uh, uh, this is not the Bering Sea. This is coming over from Japan, actually. I've been calling this the Bering Sea. Bering Sea's up here. All right, so this is coming more out of the, uh, the far uh, east. North Korea, Japan area out that way, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's a that's a large moisture field running right over Hawaii, and we got this hurricane going due north. So it's going to be interesting to see what exactly is going to happen here. We got this developing storm here. We got this hurricane going due north, and then we have this hurricane Patricia right here. Uh, there's a lot going on. And uh, this is going to be really something else because this storm here is going to go right out over Texas, uh, over Mexico, and out to the east and raise some some hell. That's that looks like the situation. They have no choice but to uh, turn this hurricane around and move it out to the uh, east because of all of what's happening here. We've got this situation here, and we have a developing storm here. So we got three major problems right here, and then there's this channel of high pressure, which is quickly. Uh, shrinking down and it looks like the uh the low pressure may uh, win this one out this battle but we do have a transmitter here uh i i just often wonder how many transmitters they have available we've got we've got one here uh, i'm not sure if these are three separate uh, uh targets but uh, we'll just assume that's just one we've got one here so there's one two we got three four uh, we've got a, a, a some heat here to keep this uh, moisture field here from feeding that. There is something going on here uh, to uh, to uh, divide the moisture fields here and here. All right, um, <clears throat> this is the surface analysis map showing what's going on currently. We have this developing storm off of the uh, west coast right here identified, and then there's a high right here, right next to it. So we got the low here and the high right here, right next to each other. And this is a 1,007 uh, uh, millibar uh, developing storm. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, but uh, once again, uh, when the time is right for rain for California, uh, we've got this problem right here. So we'll just uh, keep an eye on all this and uh, we will we'll do an update. Uh, here shortly. We'll keep an eye on uh, Patricia. This is the big uh, problem right here. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, do an update probably tomorrow. All right, that's it.